This is the back area by the back door. And right now there's just a pile of trash here because I don't know what to do with it. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I'm doing a vlog style video where I'll walk around the shop here and show you some things that's going on. I do have people that like these videos and some people find them extremely boring, but I actually like watching other people's uh, do their other people's. I like watching other people do their videos like this because I like to know how things work. I've always liked that. You know, back in the day, uh, Mr. Rogers, I don't know if it had like a special name, but like the magic television that you would like put a tape in and then you can watch like how things are made. And then actually there was a TV show called How Things Are Made, but I love watching like the behind the scenes of things. So I figure some of you do too. In fact, I know some of you do, but um, I'm in the shipping room right now, which is where I do all of the shipping. I'm kind of getting a feel for uh, the, the place as it is and it's working out really well, I'll say, I'll say that. And there are still some spaces that are completely untouched that I just don't know what to do with yet, but that's all right. So let's, let me show you in here what's going on. So I actually have a ton of boxes right here that I had bought from the USPS. And that's another tip. You can order these on their website. They're free and you have to send them priority mail though, which is fine. That's the bulk of what I ship. Anyway, I ordered some of these and then they arrived like, I don't know, a month later. I basically, I, I double ordered because they weren't arriving and then I forgot that I ordered, but I've got a ton of 12, 12, eights. That's what these big ones are. And then I went out and I ordered some, some other ones. So I have like this size here, which is the game size box. Not that I sell games, but I figure that it's an interesting size. They just call it a game size or the game box for, so you can remember it. And then this one, over, and then this one over here is, I don't even know what they call that. They, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, good for like pictures is kind of what I was thinking like small pictures that aren't aren't that like like thick but they need to oh and then here is my tape I ordered special tape this is my second batch of custom tape this time it's with a, another company so it is my logo all written on there this is a three inch size which is on the thicker side like the wider side but I really prefer it to the two inch. I have two boxes of that. So it is about 48 rolls. So they're three inch, 110 yard rolls. If you're wondering where I get that from, so that's what I ordered is through APS Tape and you can go on their website. So this room is basically a mess right now and I have plans to clean it today, which I'm going to do. Uh, I have my printer here. The printer was not here before but now it's, it's here at the shop rather than at the house. So I've got my printer and then the Cricut, the cry cut, whatever you want to call that thing. And so I make my stickers with it and other kind of crafty things. Um, that's stuff that I need to put away in that box. Um, some more things that I need to put away and do something with on that shelf. I still don't have like big plans for these shelves other than just like they're holding things while I'm in the process of dealing with them. Uh, over here it's another story and it's another mess. So we've got boxes here that are pre-made. I'll get them from Amazon or I'll get subscriber mail or anything like that. And if it's a good size box that I like, then I'll keep it together. Otherwise I break them down and I'll recycle them. So I have all my notepads over here. I need to, I need to mention these again. I have the, their magnetic backs. They're on my website, realniftyvintage.com, but I designed those. And we've got strawberry ones, and we've got flamingo ones and mermaid ones, some magnets, some Stella stickers, uh, some enamel pins, stuff like that. Some tote bags, I have a few of those there. Uh, I have my poly mailers over here. I have my paper here, my bubble wrap. I've got a ton of bubble wrap, so that's nice. Oh, I cannot forget my coffee. I don't want to get cold. I'm actually looking at getting a new rolling cart. That one is really cool, but we use it like all the time for especially live sales. We'll roll things in and out and it is very sturdy and it's made of metal, but it is kind of like rickety. It like wants to move. There's a lot of flex on it. And I'm just worried that it's gonna fall apart one day with everything on it. 
Uh, and that's not unsubstantiated. I really do think that it's actually going to fall apart. So what I mean is like this metal thing is just sitting on top of that nut right there. And if it flexes just a little too much, this will fall inward. I don't know if that makes much sense, but there's like these nuts, see? And it's just balancing on top of the nut. It's, it's pretty good there, but like some of the other sides, like that's precarious. So if that, if that flexes too much this way and that'll fall in, that's not good. So I should really get an actual utility cart if it's gonna be moved back and forth. And the more stuff that's on here, the more like it wants to like skew. So that's, that's not really that great. This is the kitchen area and it's in a constant mess. I'm trying to organize it and keep it clean, but it just never seems to happen. So I have like a little cart here with lots of coffee on it, apparently. That's, there's like some artisan coffee from Hawaii in here. That's what that is. So I have kind of a nice mixture. The subscriber sent that one, so I can switch around. I got that from a hotel, so we can try that. These are raisins, that's not coffee at all. Um, so, and then I have some like little fruits and things here. Um, oatmeal, almonds, and a refrigerator with just blueberries in it. All right, over here is just another mess. I really want to get to the time whenever I'm not like looking at this kind of stuff, but we have paint supplies and projects and batteries and more paint. This area back here is just not happening. This is one of those areas that is like, I could do something with it, but I really don't have a point to right now. So uh, that pile of chairs, whenever the weather turns better, I can put that out front and then somebody's gonna take it more than like right now when it's kind of gross out. And I did that with some area rugs the other day whenever it was really sunny out and so the people just took all those rugs so quick. So. These are kind of broken, like the, the, the seats are not attached. They need a little work, but they're nice folding chairs. I just don't want to deal with them and they're in the way. So get those out of the way. And then this nice like countertop, I never use it because this is not inducive for walking. So I don't, um, but it would be a nice crafting area. And then especially like tools and stuff, I just never got around to it. They're just hanging out in this little box. Um, this I never saw on because, you know, I should be, I should be something. I should be somebody today. I'm going to be the person who organizes this because that doesn't have to be like that. And then I could sit back here. The problem is this is not very comfortable back here. Like I could sit here, stare at the wall. I mean, do I want to? Not really. There's like shelves, random shelves that we took down whenever this room was painted and other spaces were painted, but I just never put them back up. Why? Because I don't know if I want them. And then I don't want to throw them away because I don't know if I want them. Like it's a double-edged sword. I just don't know. So, and then here's like the wooden shelves. There were some wood shelves. And then there's like, I don't know. It's just a lot. But what I really want to do is sweep and mop this nice beautiful green tile you know i really don't mind this tile i kind of like it because it has like this i don't know rich money bank yeah i want to live in a bank it has like this kind of vibe that i'm i like you know in in moderation but i want to mop it i never mopped this floor yet and i can't mop it because there's always junk on it so this is the back area by the back door. And right now there's just a pile of trash here because I don't know what to do with it. So it's there. Oh, there's the outside. We'll close that. It's too, it's too cold today to be out there, so we won't. Okay, this spare room here is another space that I'm not sure what to do with yet but I've made a lot of progress, though it may not look like it. So let me turn on the light switch. Okay, so this room used to have a pile of rugs all throughout here, and I did my very best to get rid of the majority of them. So uh, that's taken care of. Like that wire thing was full of rugs. 
and it was just just a lot now as i get the other front space up front organized i can move some of these things out into that area like that lamp that can go out front um well there's not really a whole lot in this room that i care about uh like this furniture i want to get rid of it i don't really want it it's it's like this particle board cheap stuff and i don't need a dresser like i literally don't so and that light thing with the shelf i don't need that uh, there's another dresser over there. So there's things in here that I'd like to clear out. Now these are full of figurines that I do need to go through at some point. They were here at the shop whenever I bought it and I just cleared them off in order to put my own things on. So they're in here, lots of figurines. That's full of like religious figurines and things. So that might be like a haul video or something going through and then I can maybe just sell out of the haul, um, possibly. All those lids, they need to be tossed. I don't even have the bottoms to them. Uh, they were mostly filled and then donated to Goodwill from here at the shop. And I, I don't know why I have all the lids for some reason, but I do. And uh, I need to list that big record player slash tape player slash FM. That should do well on Facebook Marketplace. But in other words, I'm not sure what else to use the space for and I don't need it. So therefore, I haven't really touched a lot of these things. What I would like to use the space for is shipping supplies, overflow, and just in general, like extra, like a big storage closet, essentially. Like I have all these broken down boxes right here and that would be a great thing to put, I don't know, in there. I mean, yeah, let me just throw all my trash in this room. So <laughs> I go through so much cardboard, but there's a lot of boxes that are just like not useful. Like a lot of those are like flats, like what you like the lids of boxes that you get at auctions. And um, I could technically use them in, in like shipping supplies, but it's not as practical as you might think with a lot of the stuff that I ship. I don't really need a lot of rigid material that are um, heavy. Oh, my 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 area. So this is my flamingo mirror that Barb gifted me. And for for whenever I bought the shop and I have one very similar to this at the house It's very similar. I think it's backwards though. This is a Turner print and it's No, it's not. It's a Robert Stern. I'm so ignorant. So it's a Robert Stern lithograph and I have There's a few different versions of this one So it's really pretty and I decided to put it here in the hallway and then this was actually given by a subscriber and I want to say Sweden or Denmark. I, for the life of me, cannot remember. I think I've shown this on a video, but I bought this frame at a flea market. Actually, I, they, he gave it to me because I bought other stuff. And then she, she uh, mailed this really pretty watercolor to me. And I think it just goes so well together, the frame and the picture. Um, I had bought that from a subscriber. A private little pic I did. So that's a fine. I just have it nice like a little banner like just but what i want to show on this wall that's different i don't think i've shown it before except on instagram is that and this is an art piece made by a subscriber and i just love what they did with it so it kind of has a story to it doesn't it there is an ice cream cone that's also a flamingo and i am climbing up the ice cream cone like a mountain and i'm wrangling a flamingo in the process and there is my hot air balloon I guess I'm trying to reach it so I can go on the rest of my journey but my goodness oh it's like a, almost like a whole life like I get up to the mountain and then I get on my and then I fly to fly away into ethereum ethereum no not <laughs> not cryptocurrency I fly away to the ether not the ethereum I fly away to the ether like a nice way to say I'm toast but Susan Curry 2020 made that isn't that beautiful and it's dimensional so pretty so this is the room that I spend the majority of the time in because it's mostly filled with all of my stuff and you can see there's a lot of stuff but I have lots of room to put more stuff in here not in here specifically but yeah there's a lot so it's it's just nice to have everything out and so I could look at it um, but I am set up for my next live sale tonight, actually. I'll be doing that. And I have this kind of spring theme 
really excited about that. I have a mixture of spring and um, St. Patrick's Day and Easter, along with just overall spring vibes. So that's sort of the, the theme that I went with. And then I have these in general categories that are just that makes sense to me. So like tens, and then these are like more guy items like wood and things like that, utilitarian things, and then like clocks and other household lights and stuff. So they, I have them broken down into sections like that, uh, blown glass, more blown glass. So that's kind of what this room is. It just holds everything in sections that I can navigate easily. It's not really set up for shopping. And I have had people ask me about that. So I do plan on having a pop-up shop here, but it is not going to be like an ongoing thing where I will wanna actually overhaul this whole space for shoppers and their experience necessarily. My plans on a pop-up shop are just to allow people that want to come here that follow me on YouTube or wherever and they wanna come here and they wanna see it and they maybe they'll buy something, maybe not, but it's just for that reason. So I'm not really looking to make a shop for the local area. So um, it's mostly a warehouse for me in a way that I can kind of visually see what I have. And that's why I really, really enjoy these shelves. Now, let me show you this other room right over here. Oh, and real quickly, that's the other wall in this room. It kind of just has uh, lots of fabric on it and some lithographs up top and things like that. So in here, this is the space that is not getting as much attention, but that's all right, it will be. So we have more lithographs and wall hangings around this window. And this was an entire project, if you had followed that, where I took that out and I put in a window because it they had it boarded up and smaller. Let me turn the light on. I don't know, there's the light, okay. And then so I rearranged some furniture in here that I had gotten. And so there's like a little washstand type dresser there. And I just sort of organized it a little bit. I have more tins and things over here. Some records, some magazines, things like that. And then over here, I have some more furniture. But um, yes, so those things all need to be put away. I have more in the other room that I need to put away. And they're most likely gonna go in here because there's a lot more space. And you can see I have my 50s kitchen over here too. And it's coming together. Um, but it's, it's, fun, it's fun to kind of decorate with it and, and all of that. And I, and I like what it's, what's happening over here. So it does appear like I'm kind of staging this as a retail shop, but I'm honestly doing it for myself more than anything because I like to look at it. So um, that said, it kind of does help in the long run if I do decide to do something further with it locally. But to be quite honest with you, I can make better margin selling online to a wider array of people rather than the small selection of people in this area that tend to like the stuff that I buy, if that makes a whole lot of sense. So I can reach markets like California and Texas and overseas even um, that I cannot reach here locally. So the price points on things just won't be so great. That said, there are items that I can pick up locally like furniture or Crocs, uh, like the stoneware, um, maybe large pictures, things that I wouldn't really want to necessarily ship that are good for this space. And that's another reason why I kind of like it because I can maybe list those on Facebook Marketplace and take them, take pictures here and list them. And if people come in and they want to like look at what else I have, then that's really great because it's set up for it. But as far as a nine to five kind of opening scenario where you know somebody's here or I'm here on the daily, I don't foresee that because it's just a lot of upkeep. It's a lot of payroll. It's a lot of time that and responsibility, honestly, it's a lot of that. So I don't want to feel like I'm working on somebody else's schedule. And I think whenever you have a public open business with the hours that entail that you suddenly are on that schedule and you can't just on a whim, you know, close or whatever you can, but that's not good business. So I'm doing what works for me. And that is mostly selling online with the availability to sell some select items locally.
All right, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about anything that I showed. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.